when thinking about a contract course for a group or an organization or a team of individuals, we go back to the biblical precedent, the biblical examples where God literally brought a group of people into the wilderness to be changed by him. So we see that clearly with the Israelites coming out of Egypt, where he, a large group, albeit, but he brought them as a group, as a, as a people into the wilderness to be transformed by him. It was very intentional. It wasn't accidental. It had a very clear purpose. And so we think about that. We also think about Christ, who oftentimes, not just once or twice, but often took his disciples away from the busyness of ministry, the busyness of life, and brought them into the wilderness, brought them into outdoor places to be refreshed, to be renewed, to in some ways specifically pour into them as they've been pouring into others. And he had that rhythm. And so we really lean on those, that Old Testament model and that New Testament model of Christ, where teams of people, groups of people go into the wilderness to be refreshed, to be renewed, to be equipped, to, to have their character refined, to encounter God, to uh, be taught and trained and developed as leaders, as individuals, and as teams. And so there's that, there's that biblical precedent for that, that biblical rhythm that is most clearly seen in Christ. And so if you're a leader and you're, you're in charge of a group of people, whether that's students at a college, uh, whether that's a team at a church, whether that's a group, uh, project group in a corporation, uh, whatever that may be, it may be time to give opportunity for pause, come into the wilderness to be refreshed, renewed, and equipped as individuals and as team members, and then go back. And in going back, there's more impact, there's more focus, there's more camaraderie, communication, and connection among teams. And so that's where we really glean or pull from the biblical tradition and examples. So that is the opportunity that we want to offer you.